get a view as well. I got one, two, three, four, five, four hundred and four fifty volt electrolytic capacitors here. Fault capacitors from um the uh, two forty volt side of uh switch made power supplies. If I put all these in a uh, little parallel circuit like this, all the uh, microfarad value would add up. All I do is just solder them together, negative and positive, projector for there and 240 volt in. I have a nice big capacitor bank to blow stuff up with. Also I've got to be uh, very careful of things like this because uh, this sort of thing can kill, especially the amount of bloody um, volts and current stored in these. So I'm going to have to um, make up a little safety circuit for it so I could just, just short it out during storage. So this cannot um, build up a charge again. So that's a Samyang 400 volt 470 microfarad. Korea Chemicon 330 microfarad 400 volts. 450 volt 220 microfarad. 450 volt 220 microfarad. Both Samyang and that one's a Samwa. This is a T paper crap. 400 volt 150 microfarad. I'll do a quick test on the um my uh, variac and the rectifier I use a pop stuff and just double check what the um, output voltage of that is. Should be safe to use 400 volt caps on a 240 volt input. It's well over the um, voltage uh, safety limit so there shouldn't be uh, under any amount of stress. Okay, have you a little bank's complete? If there's a uh, little solder lugs are snapped off, these capacitors are pretty much useless because you just cannot solder. Very difficult to solder to the um the aluminium rivet there on the bottom. So it's best to remove those um with a lot of desoldering grade carefully off the uh, circuit board. Alright. One, one or more is probably gonna pop if um, it gets too much of a surge, but we'll see what happens. Let's do a test on the variac. It's on zero, we'll plug it in. Carefully uh, a ballast there, we'll carefully um uh crank it up and see what voltage we get. Uh, on, the, on the DC side here. Alright, I'll we'll turn it up. Two forty volts in, two hundred and seventeen volts DC, flat out to eighty. Two hundred and fifty two point nine volts DC, but that's with a ballast. So we'll safely drop it down. Alright, we'll turn that off. Unplug that. Oops. Alright, we'll um, put a little capacitor back on. Get this little uh, stick to discharge it with a ballast. It's not going to do any um, trip on your circuit break because it's got the ballast there protecting arm um, against direct shorts. We'll see what happens. Okay, if you want to turn the power up, it's all connected. Two forty for the ballast, and see what happens. Whoa! Interesting. Beautiful. Just what I expected. All right, let that dissipate. Awesome. I'm going to have some fun with this. <laughs> if you're going to build one of these, be very careful, because this will kill you. So that's a hell of a lot of energy in that. Just hold that short up in case it develops a charge. It is all disconnected. All right, sweet, put it in a box, and I'm going to make some standoffs, some chunky cable, and um, safety features on it, and you can start having some fun with this. Let's hold that shorted. Awesome, that was it. That was epic. Right, I'll let that dissipate for a while. That'll be enough for now, if you'll say. Thanks for watching.